So I'm going to leave you guys with this as we get ready to get out of here. I have a whole lot of videos of James Baldwin, who was born today uh, in 1924. He would be 92 today. Um, but I want to play a clip of I want to play a clip of James Baldwin discussing America's role in the international community. I want you to hear him out um, as uh, as we get it get ready to go, and um, I'll talk to you tomorrow. That we are not bobbing people out of existence in the name of freedom. If we were freedom we were concerned about, then long, long ago we would have done something about Johannesburg, South Africa. If we were concerned with freedom, boys and girls would not, as I stand here, be perishing in the streets of Harlem. We are concerned with power, nothing more than that. And most unluckily for the Western world, it has consolidated its power on the backs of people who are now going to die rather than be used any longer. In short, the economic arrangements of the Western world proved to be too expensive for most of the world. And the Western world will change these arrangements. All these arrangements will be changed for them. The Benjamin Dixon Show is only possible with listener support. Go to www.thebenjamindixonshow.com to register for our blog, join the Progressive Army, and support The Benjamin Dixon Show. Oh, it's ben Dixon. If you like this episode, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Consider becoming a Patreon. Go to www.patreon.com forward slash the BPD show and support the Benjamin Dixon show. That from a very literal point of view, the harbors and the ports and the railroads of the country. The economy, especially of the southern states, could not conceivably be what it has become if they had not had, and do not still have indeed, and for so long, so many generations, cheap labor. I am stating very seriously and this is not an overstatement. That I picked the cotton. And I carried it to market. And I built the railroads. Under someone else's whip. For nothing. For nothing. The southern oligarchy which has until today so much power in Washington and therefore some power in the world was created by my labor and my sweat and the violation of my women and the murder of my children. This, in the land of the free and the home of the brave. And no one can challenge that statement. It is a matter of historical record.